What is going on everybody? It is OTG Clips here and I definitely need to catch you guys up on something. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be two things you guys are wondering. One, what has been up with the videos lately? And two, why are we seeing Dead Rising 3 gameplay in the background? So I know you guys had to bear with me during the past week of uploads. As you guys know, it wasn't me uploading any videos at all. It was actually some other members who were trying out their very first videos. Because what we're trying to do is get more of the clan active on the YouTube channel. So hopefully once these guys, like, you know, warm up, get better at commentating and, like, learn how to do it properly and all... Hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more variety and not just me sitting here talking all the time. And this is mainly just because we are a clan. We don't have individual channels except for like two members who started out on their own channels first. So that is why I definitely want to see in the future a lot more members uploading just to give you guys some variety so it's not like the same person every time. And to answer your second question about Dead Rising 3, I asked you guys on Twitter earlier if you wanted to see new gameplay of like a different game, or if you wanted me to just stick with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and uh, you guys wanted to try out something new, so yeah, I decided to do some Dead Rising 3. Uh, I got a lot of Xbox games, and I have a ton of computer games, so I'm always down to be trying some new things, but the thing about playing new games is, when you do YouTube, and you do your YouTube about a certain game, you seem to build, like, an audience. And what I mean by that is, like, your audience expects every video to, you know, have a certain game with it, and if you throw out something that's not what they're expecting, you're, it's possible to get, like, negative feedback on it, and I mean, like, less views and dislikes. And I mean, I have tried uploading other games in the past, but like, and that's what happened. I've just gotten lots more negative feedback, but uh, yeah, we've gained more subs now, so hopefully I'm just trying to see if you guys are interested in other things besides Call of Duty, because I'm a huge person of variety. So please, please guys, leave in the comments, do you guys want to see new games, new stuff, or do you want me to just stick with Call of Duty? I mean, I'm down for either, it's just I want to entertain you guys in a good way. And I want to entertain in a way that benefits everybody. So, like, if I get half the people wanting new stuff, half the people wanting Call of Duty, then I'd have to make some system where each video is a different game or something. Like, one's Call of Duty and one's just a random game or whatever. But anyway, that's not the story at hand today. I wanted to tell you guys a little experience that I had back in elementary school. It was actually a story with me and Dippa. So, this is... He doesn't even know I'm making a story about this, so hopefully he's down for me telling this. But I'm sure he's not going to care. So we're going to go back to elementary school. I'm pretty sure this is actually in 5th grade. So yeah, we're, I'm going to be telling you guys about the biggest time that we ever got in trouble. Because there were definitely were lots, but this is just the one that got us in the most trouble. So we basically had a very, very tiny class. We were a split class between 4th and 5th grade. Even though there was two grades, it only totaled at about 13 people or less. But, I mean, that was cool because, you know, we all knew each other and we were all, like, close friends with everybody. But then, like, so we were all comfortable with, like, making jokes around each other. But, I mean, everybody makes jokes and sometimes jokes can go a little bit too far. So everybody knows, everybody went through this stage. Back in that time, you know, 4th, 5th, 6th grade, back when, like, penis jokes and fart jokes and stuff, those were, like, super hilarious. But anyway, he found this, like, really good penis joke on the internet, well, which was, like, really good at the time. So what we did was we went up to our classmates, boys and girls, and told them to say I, spell map, and then say Ness. So I'm going to break that down for you guys. If you say I, like E-Y-E, -E, like, you know, the I is on your face, you just say I. And then if you spell map, it's M-A-P. So then you have, like, I-M-A-P. And I think you guys can see where this is going now. The last part is to say Ness. So in the end, you get I-M-A-P-Ness. And it just flows together like that. And, oh my gosh, we went around just doing that to everyone. And I mean, the, for the most part, everyone just got a laugh out of it, or they just made like a really creeped out face, and just then in the end laughed about it. But apparently somebody was faking that. Because literally, like, three hours later, like, right after lunch, we were told that we had to be sent down to the principal's office. And everybody knows that, like, back then, if you had to go to the principal's office, in your mind, you're just thinking, wow, I'm screwed. You know, you're sitting there shaking, you're terrified, you, you don't know what to expect. Are they going to call your mom, and your mom's going to ground you? You don't, you don't know what's going to happen. So we walk in there, and she's like, 
you guys know why you're in here, don't you? And of course, we just made up some lie, like, uh, no, and like, we weren't doing anything. And then she sits there and she explains the joke, which makes it so funny that we start bursting out laughing. And it's just such an inappropriate time to be laughing about something like that. Like when you're sitting there facing trouble in the principal's office and you're laughing about your own jokes. But the best part about it was, and this is just kind of how it ends, was we weren't even in trouble. Like, we were just given a lecture, like a long lecture of how, like, we're supposed to be going through maturity and, like, being young gentlemen. But honestly, screw that. Since we were off the hook, practically, we didn't get in trouble, we learned nothing from that. And it was so funny because we kept going around and, like, we didn't do it that much at school, but we did it to, like, other people, and it was still really funny. So, yeah, there you guys have it. That's the most trouble I've ever been in at school. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Got a crazy, crazy video going up this weekend by OTG Neon. He's a, probably our most recent member that's joined. He's going to be literally opening $100 worth of BO3 supply drops, which is just absolutely crazy. So make sure you guys stick around for that, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace. And I can't wait so we can break up out the